The Jeep EVAP system consists of the gas cap, fuel filler neck, gas tank, refueling vapor recovery lines including a flow control valve, the EVAP canister, purge valve, leak detection pump, a separate leak detection pump filter, and all the lines and hoses. The leak detection pump has a built-in vent valve that is normally open to the filter. The purge valve is normally closed. To test for leaks, the leak detection pump closes its vent valve and pressurizes the EVAP system. If there's a leak, the PCN determines the size of the leak by how fast and how long the pump tries to maintain pressure in the system. To efficiently locate leaks in this system, you'll need to smoke test through the EVAP service port. But first, you will need to cap the hose going to the LDP filter. You cannot close the leak detection pump's vent valve using a high-end bi-directional scan tool. For the 97202 Jeep Wrangler, the EVAP canister, leak detection pump, and filter are located in the engine bay. But 03 and up, these components are located in the passenger side rear wheelhouse. To access them, first remove the fender flare, use a push pin removal tool and an 8mm socket to remove the fasteners. The liner asshole has some push clips. You might need to remove the wheel assembly if you need more space. This is what that leak detection pump filter looks like. If you smoke test without capping this hose, you will see smoke coming from the top and that will throw off your hunt for a real leak. Inside the wheelhouse, you'll need to remove this triangle shaped bracket, two bolts and one nut. Socket size. 13 millimeter. With the bracket removed, we can now see that pesky filter and the hose that connects to it. Remove this bolt, socket size 10 millimeter. And now the filter is free. Remove it from the rubber hose. Cap the rubber hose, and now the EVAP system is ready to be smoke tested. The EVAP service port is located on the driver's side of the engine bay. The Schrader valve has reverse threads, so go right to loosen, go left to tighten. From here on, it's standard smoke testing procedure. This 2003 Jeep Wrangler had a leak at this vacuum line. I was not able to find a direct replacement part, so instead I just cut off the bad part and reattached the vacuum line to the metal piece. This was a general overview of the EVAP system for the Jeep Wrangler. I'd be happy to clear up any confusion, if any, in the comment section. And I hope you learned something. Have a good day.